Yeah, so she cut me off. I knew I had to find a rich man, and I thought I had when I met you. Oh, I can't catch a break. So that whole story about how our wedding was my idea, that was just rubbish. Yeah, sorry. No, actually, my hat's off to you. I can't believe it. My Chanel is married to an unrepentant crook. I thought you deserved to know. What I didn't say is that Xander, Xander changed after he met a woman called Sarah Horton. Who was she? She was his fiance, but she left him for her ex-husband. When? Not too long ago. So, she's married to an unrepentant crook who's on the rebound. It's beautiful. Well, uh, you know, you might feel better if you knew that Sandra helped Monty and Eli track down the woman who looked after the babies. How did he manage that? He had a connection to her. What kind of connection? I think you've heard enough. What kind of connection? Sarah Horton had a baby that died shortly after she was born. And Xander forced the doctor to switch the dead child with a, a live baby that was born that same night. But well, what about the parents of the baby who got switched? They were told their baby had died. Oh, I, 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 I can't believe it. My Chanel is married to a man who does hateful things to women. It's all my fault. I should have, I should have found a way to help her be, be independent. That's too hard, huh? It's no wonder she was looking for the easy way out. That girl, she's the best thing. She's the best thing ever happened to me, and I just... I threw her to the wolves. I totally failed as a mother. squad room before I can completely fill her in, but Chanel is married now, and uh, Paulina will find out one way or another. Xander's not that bad. I mean, he did help us get our babies back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to talk about Xander anymore. I don't want to talk about Chanel anymore. I just want to spend time with my babies and my baby. Mm. I forgot to tell you. What? This morning when I went to get Jules, she was on her tummy.